Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, I'm going to give you guys my Group B reaction to Copa America games. I'm sorry this is coming a bit late, guys. I just had to do some stuff. You know, kind of got busy with stuff. And here I am doing this. I'm recording this, I think, like two hours after the match has ended. I, I just had to go somewhere. And yeah. Anyways, let, let's, let's just get on with this. So Jamaica, nil. Venezuela, three guys. Venezuela, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. I like Venezuela. What is there more to say? This team is amazing. Bello has been a great. Ron Don has been great. Machis, Herrera, Martinez. You got Angel, Amarbabu, Romo. Like, this Venezuela team is amazing. You know, great gold from Bello. Then Solomon Ron Don. Great assist there from Herrera. And then coming off the bench, Eric Ramirez. 3 0. And for Venezuela, for Jamaica, as I said, man, the, the, there is just a terrible. I'll give you credit. They actually were good in the first half. First half, they actually made it close. Uh, they were decent. But the second half was disgrace. Second half was really, really bad. Second half was really, really bad. They only had two shots, one on target, and Jamaica, uh, Venezuela took over. And it's a huge win for Venezuela because this is now the first time they've ever topped a group in the Copa America in their history. It's also the first time that Venezuela got nine points in the Copa America group stage. So shout out to Batistita, what he's done as a coach. And Venezuela, look, they look so dominant. They look so well organized, so well drilled and for jamaica as i said man their coach uh apparently Hermer hergrisman has already resigned and for jamaica as i said they're gonna have to rebuild they have to rebuild it is a very disappointing Copa america at least they scored a goal in the Copa america so at least they qualify but now the next objective for jamaica is to qualify for the world cup i think that's now their objective and for venezuela man they can make a semifinals because their next opponent is canada and that's a favorable matchup for them. That's a favorable matchup for them. I think if you're Venezuela, you must be happy playing against Canada. Although I think that match could be very interesting. So shout out to Venezuela, man. Fantastic win for them. And um, like I said, man, I'm really excited to see how this team does and the World Cup, guys, because I feel like they're on the verge of making the World Cup as well. So shout out to Venezuela for performing well in the Copa America and the World Cup, you know. <sighs> Mexico nil, Ecuador nil. Guys, this Mexico team is awful. Is this the worst Mexico team we have seen in the 21st century? Because Mexico have always made the round of 16 of the World Cup. Since I think it was 86. Now, they have gone out of two major international tournaments of back-to-back -back group stage exits. And for me, the warning signs were there after they got grouped to the World Cup. After they got grouped to the World Cup, things should have changed. And instead, it pretty much was the same. Nothing really changed. Um, they brought in Jamie Lozano as an interim coach, and he became the permanent coach after the Gold Cup win. And I'm sorry, that Gold Cup win pretty much uh, pretty much was paper in the cracks. Because you see Mexico, they're now struggling to score goals. Guys, Mexico only scored one goal in this entire group stage. And that came from a banger from Artiga. That is a disgraceful. Disgraceful. Santiago Jimenez, I'm sorry, is a fraud. He's a fraud. He, he, he just isn't that guy for the national team. He isn't that guy. Canuris, awful. Don't rate him. Horatza, Pineda. Like, there's only a few good Mexican players in this team. I rate Vasquez. I think Vasquez is a great center back. Chavez, I think, is good at Romo. That's it. Every other Mexican, I don't really rate that highly. I don't even rate Jorge Sanchez that highly. You know? And for Mexico, I think they needed Edson Alvarez. I think Edson Alvarez was such a key thing for them. And for Mexico, as I said, man, very, very disappointing for them. Lozano probably should get sacked. For this, and I don't know if you guys know this, Mexico have gone out in three of the four Copa America group stages. And the four Copa Americas they've competed in, three of the four have been group stage exits. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing for Mexico. As for Ecuador, very much did the bare minimum. Ecuador, I wasn't impressed with at all. And you could almost kind of tell that Felix Sanchez was playing for a draw. And guys, Ecuador are very lucky to not have conceded this penalty because they almost conceded a penalty right at the end. I think they had a penalty call in the second half of Mexico. Ecuador is such a talented team. This team is so talented, and yet they're doing the bare minimum. Because I look at this team. You have the likes of Moises Caicedo. You have the likes of Kendry Pais, Sammy Minto. You got Hincape, Pachco, Dominguez, Presido, Torres. Like, there's so much talent in this team, and you're only doing the bare minimum to advance is quite disgraceful. And I understand that Felix Sanchez was playing for a draw. You know, like, okay, we're playing for a draw because we need a draw to advance. Mexico obviously needed the win to advance. But it's such a pathetic, like, this is Mexico we're talking about. This is a terrible Mexico team. And as I said before, guys, whenever you try to play for a draw, 
it may most of the time it doesn't always work out. Now it's one of those rare instances where it actually played out to what they needed, but you can never play for a draw because you never know what's going to happen. Teams are going to go super attack minded, and you saw in this game that Mexico very much were the better team. They honestly created more genuine opportunities. Ecuador really didn't create that much, and. For Ecuador, as I said, man, this team has so much potential. And now Ecuador put themselves in a very bad position because had they had topped the group as they probably should have with the amount of talent they have, they would have played against Canada. And that would have been a far easier task than playing against the defending Copa America cha uh, champions Argentina in the quarterfinals. And like I said, guys, for Ecuador, man, they are still yet to win against a continental nation so long. So... For Ecuador, at least they got a win here in the group stage. You know, at least they did that, which they weren't able to do in the last edition. But for Ecuador, man, they're the they're perennial underachievers in Copa America, man. And Felix Sanchez has to get sacked as the Ecuadorian FA. And for Ecuador, as I said, man, just very disappointed, man. Very, very disappointed for Ecuador. Not really much to discuss here. And for Ecuador, as I said, man, <sighs> very disappointed, man. Very disappointed. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy uh, this video. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please run a like and subscribe. And let me know if there's any major talking points in the comment section below, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.